What's good, YouTube? This your boy Tony the Finesse Guy, man. And um, I'm back with another video, man. Um, y'all been um asked me to do a lot of these Dr. Phil requests, all this and that. So um I went on there, you know, scrubbed through a few videos and came across this weird ass video of this dude talking about uh he's a cyborg from the year twenty fifty. And you know, now that I think about it, it's like shit, you never know, man. Motherfuckers could be you know, he, his mind might be in the future. He might know some shit we don't know. Shit, how how could we say we might be, you know, um, a little bit behind? He might be ahead of, ahead of the game. You know what I mean? But um, I ain't gonna lie, man. This dude, he, he's weird, man. And, uh, you know, he don't want to get a job. He don't want to do nothing, man. And you should just see the way he, he he's acting throughout this whole little episode here, man. He's just a straight up weirdo, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, but before I start this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And um, when you comment, man, I respond to everything, so don't be shy to, you know, drop a comment in there. And make sure you, when you subscribe, you hit that bell button. All right, y'all, let's get into it. What is it? It's your mom. Enter. Hey, Orin. Can I turn on the light? It's it's a little dark in here and I can't see. Dark in here. Huh? You prefer dark in here. My son, Orin, thinks he's a cyborg from the year 2050. Mother. Just come down. You are just come down. Our listen, listen, we are listen. receiving just come programming. Down. We are watching video. We are learning. Learning what? Learning About what? the future. Orin has robotic movements and his robotic speech. It's a glitch. Like, he's a computer. Your intensity will be matched as we try to save you and everyone that we know he talks in a collective everything is we he hasn't said i in over a year we are alone in this no one else was chosen to do what we are doing we need to you know save the planet from sudden doom cyborgs are part machine part man but i gave birth to Orin, and he is flesh and blood i also made lasagna downstairs and i wanted to know if you could you know, join us. We are not hungry. Thank you. Oren on the plane was astro traveling. Every time I turned around to check on him to make sure he was okay, he was zoned up. Astro traveling is where he travels to another dimension where he gets like, instructions from the higher beings. To me, it looks like he's sleeping. There is an apocalypse in the future. We have seen it in our dreams and in our visions. Two years ago, he graduated from NYU Business School with a 3.9 GPA. This isn't the young man that I saw walk across the stage when he graduated. He's changed. He wanted to come back home, and I told him, of course, with the understanding that he would get a job. From that point on, it just spiraled. We are still in that process of gaining full employment. That was a huge... Man, this motherfucker... He's out of it. If his mama don't smack the shit out of his motherfucking ass, man, somebody need to get some pussy in this nigga's life, man, because this just some some weird shit. You know, maybe the nigga just don't want to get a job, and he just decided that, that he was going to be a weirdo. You know what I mean? It's just kind of weird how it just started happening out of nowhere, man. But I got to see this full episode, man. Because Dr. Phil probably got all the answers to this weird shit that this dude was doing. A year ago, honey. That was a year ago. Things do not happen overnight. He was not looking for work. Oren is on his computer all day, and he very rarely comes down from his room. Welcome to our headquarters. I know that he's not a cyborg, but he believes he is here to save the planet. You say this has been going on for about two years. Yes. But when he's just around the house, mm -hmm. just hanging around, is he always in cyborg mode? He's always in cyborg mode. So he never just comes in and no. says, hey, Mom. No. In looking back, are there things that you recognize now with the benefit of hindsight where you saw atypical thinking or unusual behaviors or identifications when he was growing up? I, I never saw anything. I... Did you ever notice that in times of stress or... Uh...
and that was that's what I was thinking. It's got to be, you know, something, you know, how he was raised. And I think maybe he acts like this because, you know, he didn't get enough attention as a child. You know what I mean? And he done got stuck in this whole fucking world that don't even exist, man. Conflict that he would seem to withdraw or disassociate in some way. He started that once he came back home after college. There were certain expectations when he came home that I wanted him to uh, be a part of. Uh, helping me around the house and taking out the garbage and helping me, you know, clean up and helping with groceries. And he would just usually tell me that he's working, he's busy, and that he is on his computer and uh, sometimes would ask me to leave his room. But he would isolate. Yes, he would be in his room from early in the morning to four o'clock the next morning. He would be in his room working on, you know, whatever it is that he does on his computer. So you don't think he has a mental illness? No, not at all. So it if it's not a mental illness, what would motivate this kind of atypical behavior? Uh, well, one of the things that he knew that I wanted him to do was find a job, and he hasn't done that. Uh -huh. And so, you know, if he can claim that he's a cyborg and so forth and not have to enter into, you know, having a a real job like the rest of, you know, the kids out there who graduate from college. And that's exactly what I said, y'all. Um, maybe he don't want to work. Maybe he just don't, you know, is afraid to hop out there in the real world. Maybe, you know, mama spoiled his ass too much. Because I'm telling you, if, it, if that was my mom, she would have kicked my ass out on the streets. You know what I mean? I would have been out on the streets. I would have had to figure some shit out. But like I said, she, she, I know that's her son, but she's spoiling this boy too much and she got to let him get out there in the real world. She got to let him figure some shit out or he just going to be stuck in this fucked up world. Or maybe he needs to see a therapist, you know, who, who knows, man. But for a minute there, I was looking at him and I was just like, I don't know, man. It seemed like he, he kind of was faking it, but then at the same time, I was thinking, like, this motherfucker might just be a weirdo. You know what I mean? But, um, like I always say, man, if you don't have cable TV, you can always watch me. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this weird shit. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button. All right, y'all.